Man, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning to all my wonderful subscribers who are tuned in and locked into the channel. Shout out to all my kings who are retaining their seed and shout out to all the ladies who are on their celibacy journey. So with no further ado, I need y'all to go ahead and do me a favor and go ahead and smash that like button right now. Smash that like button right now, especially to everybody who is supporting the channel. I do appreciate you guys, y'all. So, of course, we give God all the glory and the praise. And I got to thank God for another beautiful, blessed day, fellas, because without God, where would we be along this journey? So with no further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive into this video. Today's video topic is going to be the harlot spirit on semen retention. Now, in case you fellas do not know about the harlot spirit, the harlot spirit is the 304 knocking at your dough. And I'm going to tell you like this, fellas. It's not if, but when the harlot going to come down like Charlotte. You heard of Charlotte's web and she going to try to stick you on that thing and get you caught up in some mess. So what do you have to do? You have to avoid these red flags, fellas. Do not get me wrong. They coming for you. Why? Because you are vibrating at a high frequency. Demons love semen. So when you start retaining your seed, they can sense that. Do not get it wrong, fellas. Like they can sense it from a mile away. Most of these females, a lot of them, even men are witches and warlocks and wizards. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't, we can't look past the truth, fellas. I know there are a lot of people out here who are who are going to say we are crazy and that it doesn't make sense. And that, oh, no, you're lying. You're not speaking from actual knowledge. But yes, this is the truth. Why do you think the music is so demonic today? Why do you think that everything in the media is so sexualized and it's all about lust? Ask yourself this. Do you really think that God would do that to us? Do you really think that God would tempt you? Do you really think that God would lure you down a path of destruction like this harlot who is basically no good for you? And we all been there, fellas. We've all been there. We've all been down the road with little lady who obviously is out to do you shady. Or for the females who've been without with Tyrone, who just going to hit it, then leave you alone. Pookie, Ray, Ray, Chad, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to keep it a buck. So with that being said, fellas, you got to be careful because dealing with the harlot spirit is no joke. Dealing with the harlot spirit is like dealing with the Jezebel spirit. You're going to go through some trials and tribulations with this particular woman for all the men out there who are retaining their seed. And they are going to make you feel like, wow, what's wrong? Why are you tripping? What are you going through? Why do you see anything wrong with what I'm doing? As if the toxic behavior, the nonsense that they're doing is supposed to be validated as truth and as good. No, the Bible says, cursed is the man who say that good is bad and bad is good. We got to stay on the path of righteousness, fellas. We got to continue growing and continue glowing, but continue elevating to a higher understanding of God's word. God's word says, stay away from fornication, flee fornication. That's what this channel is all about. And I'm not perfect, fellas. I'm not going to lie. I didn't feel short too many times in the past, y'all. Too many times. All of these videos that I make is from my own experience. I'm sharing my experience with you guys. I'm not telling you to change. I'm not telling you to do nothing. You are going to do what you do at the end of the day. This is just me documenting my journey and sharing my truth from my experience, not from what I read in a book, not from what somebody told me, but through what I have learned along this journey through my experience. So I want to say this. Be careful of the heartless spirit because she out here riding and looking to slide in on you and hoping that you let her ride in. You can't do it. Don't do it is what I'm saying, but you're going to do whatever you want to do at the end of the day. But what I'm saying is this, be careful because it's hard to make it back after all these trials and tribulation, fellas. Let's be honest. You can be doing good on your streak. And then all of a sudden a harlot comes along and lures you in through her sexual promiscuity, her looks, her beauty, 
the way that her body is shaped and the way that she is able to stroke your ego and your pride. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be careful, fellas, because this ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. But the good thing is this. As long as you stay on your journey, you stay prayed up, you stay focused. You understand that this harlot only wants you because she can't have you. And we have to keep it that way. That's what keeps your value high and through the roof is knowing that you deserve the best. You deserve better. But don't let them change your positive attitude. Don't let them change your good spirit. Still show love, but feed them with a long wooden spoon. And know that at the end of the day, unless you earn what I have, because I don't work so hard to get it, you're not going to get it. Because I know Lil Harlot is trying to come in to steal my glow, steal my energy, steal my light, steal my joy, which God is my joy. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So if I want to continue to have peace in my life, I got to keep my joy, which is God, which is what I work so hard for. Because see, here's the thing we got to remember, fellas. If we fall for the boo nanny, the BS, guess what? Now we got to start all over. And of course, a wise man once told me it's not starting over from scratch. It's starting over with experience. But let's be honest. We work too damn hard to come this far just to throw it away in the trash over something that's not even worth it, fellas. I'm going to be I'm going to keep it a buck. The harlot is never worth it. Just like the Jezebel is never worth it. There's going to be a lot of these demonic lustful spirits, promiscuous spirits that are going to come for you along your journey because they are craving your spirit. They are craving your energy. They are craving your light within you. And they know that you have that glow. They know that within you, you have the power that comes from God. So don't give it away easily. Protect yourself. Protect your energy at all costs because she gonna come. She gonna come a coming like the birds that is humming and she gonna look like something fine and stunning, but don't let her cut you like an onion. Stay focused. Do not be wishy-washy and don't let her hit you with that black magic, with that witchcraft or all of that nonsense. Pray against these things because I have been a fool too many times, fellas. I ain't gonna lie. I'm keeping a buck. I love y'all. So I got to keep it real, especially because we out here in the field. Don't be a dummy like I, I have been in the past. Thinking that, oh, no, it's not going to happen to me. I stay protected and I'm in this little positive bubble. Let me tell you something. The moment you start following God, like Pastor Darby said, that's the moment you become a target from the devil. You ever wonder why when you start doing good and you're focused all of a sudden, so many temptations are coming to you. So many bad things are happening in your life and so many blockages are happening to you and your blessings because the devil doesn't want you to be blessed. God doesn't tempt you and the devil doesn't want you to be blessed. The Bible says the devil comes to kill, steal and destroy. So you best believe when you are doing good, when you are living a righteous life, you will be targeted. Don't let all these new age fake gurus tell you any otherwise. Oh, no, you're just going to do this and you're going to be OK. No, you're not. You got to be prepared for the battle because this is a battle for your soul, for my soul. It ain't nothing to play around with. So we got to take it serious. We got to stay out the way every day. We got to pray and we got to know that we want to be blessed, y'all. So retain your seed. Stay prayed up. Take care of yourself. Take good care of yourself. Stay in that gym. Stay reading your Bible. Stay going to church. And no matter how many times you fall short, because a lot of times we will get back up and give it all to God. God lives in trouble. But don't fall for the heartless spirit because she is planning your demise. So how do you stay away from that trap? You don't even fall into it in the first place. She going to throw it at you. Just bob and weave like you in a boxing match. You know what I'm saying? Like you bobbing and weaving like Muhammad Ali in his prime time. And you uh, uh, like Mike Tyson when he was at his peak level. You know what I'm saying? Because you can do it through, through God Almighty, through the power of God. So with that being said, I love y'all. Fellas, don't forget, continue to retain your seed. Stay away from that harlot, Charlotte, who's going to try to put you in the web and leave you dead. 
You don't need none of that. Why? Because you are amazing. You are incredible. And you are worthy of all the blessings that God is trying to give you. Same thing with the ladies who are on their celibacy journey. Don't give away your treasure where they can't even measure how much time, patience and work and dedication that you have put into something that you've been waiting for your whole life. Remember that. I love y'all. Don't forget, y'all. Stay prayed up in these times because we will be tested before the blessing comes along. I love y'all. Everybody who is tuned in and locked in, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate y'all. I am nothing without y'all, man. You guys are what makes this channel what it is today. Continue to stay tuned in until ne the next episode. I need y'all to do me a favor, y'all. Show some love to the channel. If you are tuned in, don't be a hater. Be a supporter. If you're watching your boy, click that button and like this, this video right now. Matter of fact, like this video and share this video. That way we can get the message out. Don't just be a watcher, be a supporter because I support y'all and take out, take the time out of my day to make these videos for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to drop a comment below. Let me know what's going on in your life. Have you ever been through it with a Charlotte, with a 304 knocking at your dough who trying to pimp you for some dough and get some more? Let me know because... We all got our own little stories, and that's how we connect and bond. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, drop a comment below. Share this video with your mommy, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your brother, your sister. Y'all know my motto. I'm sending y'all peace, love, and blessings. And until next time, peace.